As we move through our celebration today, let us be mindful of God's graciousness to us and thank and pray about ways that can imitate that generosity in our own lives. Please rise and let us praise and thank God by singing in the gather, number 850, All Are Welcome.
Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. That means fruitful labor for me. 
and I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Almighty and eternal God, we have so exalted the unbreakable bond of marriage 
and it has become the sacramental sign of your son's union with the church as his spouse. We ask you to look with favor upon Lonnie and Norma, and you have united in marriage as they renew their commitment to you and to one another on this, their 60th anniversary. They pray that in good times and in bad, they will grow in love for each other, and that they will resolve to be a one heart in the bond of peace. Lord, in their struggles, let them rejoice that you are near to help them. In their needs, let them know that you are there to rescue them. And in their joys, let them see that you are the source and the completion of every happiness. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Why, if you're so inclined, you make us the bride. <laughs>
and along with all the catechists here at Holy Family Parish. May God help you to be good stewards to what he has, to what has been entrusted to you, and may you and all the catechists who serve in this parish receive the grace that you need for your service here at Holy Family. And so we pray for God's blessing this morning. Lord God, source of all wisdom and knowledge, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to live among us, to proclaim, and to proclaim his message of faith, hope, and love to all nations. In your goodness, may you bless our brothers and sisters who have offered themselves as catechists and teachers for your church. Strengthen them with your gifts, that they may teach by word and example the truth that comes from you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Together let us thank those who have volunteered to be catechists. And this morning I would also invite all the parents of the students among Holy Family School and of our catechists to please rise as we recognize that the gift of faith begins in the home and it is there that is most fully nurtured. So I invite all parents to please rise this morning as we offer God's blessing to you as we begin this new school year. Would you pray with me? God, our Father, let your peace settle within the hearts of these mothers, fathers, and guardians. May you give them strength and wisdom as they care for their children. Show them how to raise their families with patience and tenderness. Give them strength during the times of greatest difficulty. Help them recognize the little joys that are part of each day. May they grow in wisdom, understanding, and grace. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, who is one with you and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. And God bless all of our prayers. Thank you for all
Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> Son, 
look forward to his second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely on failing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm the faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis our Pope, and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family that we have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, your kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter my room. But only say the word, and my soul will shut in me. Please join in our communion song in the gather, number 916, I Receive the Living God.
please join in singing in the gathered, number 955, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. is still in need of two fifth grade teachers and one sixth grade teacher. Please contact Teresa Lambrecht or Father Timothy if you are being called to this ministry. The youth choir starts up again next week. All of the youth of the parish, please join us for practice at 9.15 and sing for Mass at 10 o'clock a.m. Faith Formation does begin this upcoming Wednesday, so uh, if you've been listening attentively to hear God is calling you to be a catechist among the parish, I would invite you to turn on the radio and listen a little more attentively because we really need catechists really quick. So uh, I, I would ask you, implore you, to please discern that call in your life to see if this is something that, uh, through God's strength and through God's wisdom, you can share with the gift of our youth. As was mentioned as one of the petitions this upcoming week, I'll be gone for a week of retreat. I know. I was just gone for a week of vacation a couple of weeks ago, but this is completely different. Uh, after Mass, this, after, this morning, so after 10 o'clock Mass, I'll be driving west towards Sioux Falls, South Dakota, just a little bit south of Sioux Falls, so I have an eight and a half hour trip to look forward to today. Yay. But uh, eight days of silence. Yay. That's where I was. Uh, eight days of silence is difficult, I will admit that. I, this is the second eight day silent retreat. I've done. I did one about nine years ago when I was after my first year in seminary, uh, and I still bear fruit from that eight-day retreat. So I greatly look forward to this eight days, and I ask for your prayers uh, for the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout these eight days, and I will definitely keep you in my prayers as well. Uh, the 
difficult part about an eight-day silent retreat so far away is that while I have eight and a half hours to drive there, when I'm done with eight days of talking, I still have eight and a half hours before I can talk again because I'll be driving in my car. <coughs> so uh, again, I ask for your prayers. Next weekend, Father Joel Mater, uh, retired priest of our diocese in Green Bay, will be here for all the weekend masses. He will actually be here Saturday afternoon to celebrate a quinceanera mass. A quinceanera is a, a Spanish celebration for Spanish uh, youth. Many families will celebrate that for when they turn 15 years old, a kind of a rite of a passage towards adulthood. And so he will be here that afternoon, on Saturday afternoon, and he will stick around for all the weekend masses. So uh, welcome to Father Joel Turn next week. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Go, pack, go. Our closing song is in the gather, number 636. Now thank we all our God.